What's up guys, welcome back to another super exciting Kinemaster tutorial. I'm Sam from Sam Edits and today we're running fast like Sonic. Alright guys, so all you need in order to do this effect is to download all the assets in the description below and this includes everything you need to do this effect. Now to film this effect, you want to film your actor just running off screen. Yeah, it's that easy. And for the second one, you want to just film yourself running but in front of a green screen. So once you've got all that, you're good to go. So let's get to Canon Master and get this thing started. Okay, so in Kinemaster, we have to import our footage. So we can do this by tapping media and importing our footage. <laughs> so as you guys can see here, it's just me running off screen. Now let's make it look more like Sonic Speed. So what we can do is first speed up the footage so it looks more like we're running faster. So to do this, scroll to the point when the running starts, split the clip by tapping on the scissors, and tapping split at play. Now go to the speed settings and really speed it up as much as you want. I mean really the speed here depends on how fast you want. When that's done we can import the lightning. To do this we'll simply tap layer, media and import the lightning effect. Now tap blending mode and put it to screen blending mode. And guys, you might have to scale it up or adjust the timing so that it fits your footage. Let's have a preview. Perfect. So to export this, tap on share and it will take you to the export and share tab. Now you can choose the resolution and the frame rate. So for me, I'll choose 1080p and 24 for the frame rate as this is how I shot my footage. Then tap export. Now let's move to the second shot. First thing we'll do is import the button. After that, import the green screen footage as a layer. Scale it up and tap on chroma key. Now the chroma key settings in Kinemaster are really great. The best way to get a good result is to really just play with the settings and see what you can get. Enabling the show mask really helps too. When the footage is keyed, we can apply a filter to it so that it looks a bit more blue. For this shot here, we'll select uh, B21 under basic. Now let's go to color adjustment and play with the settings until we get a blue that matches the background. This looks about right. Now add the second lightning as a layer, just like we did before. Scale it up and set it to a screen blending mode. Now it's not bad, but you know what's missing? Camera shake. To do this, first we must export the footage. So to export the footage, tap on share and it will take you to the export and share tab. Now you can choose the resolution and the frame rate and the frame rate. And for me, I'll choose 1080p and 24 for the frame rate as this is also how I shot my footage. Then tap export. Now on the new project, import a background. And this can be really any color, it doesn't matter. Now import the clip we just exported as a layer and scale it up. Now also adjust the length of the background so that it's the same length as your footage. Now go to the overall animation and you can choose between drifting and flowing. But for this shot, we'll choose flowing. Perfect. After this, you can export it again just like we did before. That's it for today's tutorial. And if you have any blab, all right, guys, that's it for today's tutorial. And if you have any questions or suggestions, make sure to subscribe and comment below.
Now, if you don't have KineMaster, you can get it for free on Apple's App Store or on Google Play Store. Just search KineMaster or use the links in the description below. This app is amazing, guys. You can also check out my channel, uh, Sam Edis. There will be a link for that in the description below as well. Thank you guys for watching and don't forget to create, edit, and share.